What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and we're going to do a reaction to another death battle preview. This time it's Spyro the Dragon, because they're doing Spyro vs. Crash. You already know my opinions on the matchup, if you did, if you, if you don't know my opinions, just check out my Crash preview uh, reaction, or my Crash vs. Spyro prediction video. Either one tells you my opinion, um, or I could just say it here. I like Crash more, but I think Spyro's gonna win. Rooting for Crash, betting on Spyro. Um... But anyways, also, last time I did one, some people said my eyes are too big. Would you rather me look like this, sacrifice my eyesight for your, whatever you're seeing, being appealing to your eyes? Is, is, is that what you want? No. <laughs> I need to see. I need to see. So, I'm going to be having my glasses on. Uh, let me find up the episode, pull it up. Uh, <clears throat> And, anyways, do not spoil the death battle for me when it comes out for first members on Monday. Please don't. Because the reason I'm doing these reactions again is because you guys want them. So, why I won't react to them if you spoil them, because I already know the answer. So, if you want me to keep doing these reactions, don't spoil the death battle. Anyways, here we go. Three, two, one. <clears throat> I've already heard they're going with Legend Spyro, so that's going to be interesting. Destined to be a hero of his age. I mean, why wouldn't this they? Was the legend of Spyro. But yeah, just but when the ancient nice to have confirmation. Before learned of this, he swore to destroy Spyro before he even hatched. By the way, there are at least three different timelines for mm -hmm. Spyro, but we're mainly sticking with the Legend of Spyro version because he can do pretty much anything the other ones can. I mean, they are using or Titan's less, Crash. I, the I mean, Spyro Titan's Crash isn't anything. really a different Just timeline, but some people interpret it as such. So, totally yeah. Being made at the end of Dawn of the Dragon. <clears throat> Wild fan theories aside, Spyro was saved from Malfor's wrath by Ignitus, <sighs> a guardian dragon. He decided to pull a Moses and send Spyro's <laughs> egg floating down a river to who knows where. Okay, why do so many stories start with people just throwing babies into rivers? That's never so they can, idea. so they can help free the slaves. For God, let his people go. That's why. And he thought he was a dragonfly too. Kind of like, kind of like Poe from Kung Fu Panda, thinking he came from an egg because his dad's a goose. Honk honk. Like the fun way, not not the brainy stuff. You do not want to be on the other end. Oh, the supercharge is so fun. But one fateful day, everything changed. During a game of hide and seek with his quote unquote brother Sparks, they got <laughs> into a bit of monkey business and, in desperation, <laughs> but they're baboons though. This was Spyro's first hint that he was adopted. <laughs> <laughs> that face. That face. That was like the most face I've ever seen. Yes, Spyro, you're adopted. Go on a journey in search of his true home among other dragons. Oh, and Sparks tagged along to help find treasure and protect his dragon. I hate Sparks, even though he's like the only way you can stay alive in these games. As a purple dragon, Spyro was not limited to just his fire breath. After finding and rescuing yep, yes, lightning and guardians, bubbles. He became his teachers in the My bubbles. elemental combat. Hey, Wiz, remember when I was training in the and that's it. <laughs> that was a very abrupt ending to the preview. Well, um, but anyways, join me next week as we react to Crash vs. Spyro. Episode. Let me close out Spyro this video. Versus Crash and Bandit. there we go. Okay. <clears throat> So join me next week as we react to the full episode and see who wins. Like I said before, I think Spyro's going to win, but I'm still rooting for Crash because he's my boy. I gotta root for my boy. Um, but anyways, hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Leopold the Brave, out.